Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez. I'm from GetCon today. I'd like to show you this really new that we have for you. If you working with Tecla and you know about Grasshopper, you can see that uh, a few months ago, they shared with us the information about the interoperability using Grasshopper and Tecla. If you don't use it, well, this is the new that Marcus Mitchell uh, just today shared the information about the uh, Grasshopper Tecla Light Link Campus Edition. This is for the educational version that you can download if you want, and it's pretty easy to, to download. I give you the link uh, behind the, the comments. Uh, you need to <coughs> open these two different software. You need to open Rhinoceros and Tecla Structure and you need to download package. And for this case, I... Open Grasshopper to install this package. And you need to have this particular file, the GH. And for this case, that too, I create some columns only to see if it works in the Tecla version. And in the Grasshopper thing, I only need to put uh, the file, the extension gh to the Canva, and that's all. It's pretty easy. And then uh, if you click in Enable, uh, you can see that it's appeared a new window named Tecla 2019. And I can put this example. If you click in the Canva, now you can see <coughs> that you already have installed the package Tecla in your Grasshopper. Uh, in the new video, I show you how to Tecla and Grasshopper interoperate uh, with this particular uh, example. Thank you very much for watching us.